views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. Welcome Sweet. to Sin City Bounty. Welcome. <laughs> we were supposed to have a guest today. You see the extra empty chair? We have a so guest have ghost. A ghost. Ghost guest. guest. Ghost guest today? We got ghosted by a guested. Yeah, we did. Guested ghost. This is and this is one of the reasons why I don't advertise they're coming, although we should, because people would have tuned in for it, I think. People tune in for this just for us. Fuck them. Um I mean I I like Listen, we were supposed to have Thor on because there was that big BBW porn award that just happened, and he won something. He won, he won uh, for a male performer. Yeah, that's male, male performer, performer here. He beat out. <laughs> he beat out uh, mm. a couple of other guys. <laughs> he beat out Christian XXX. He beat out Shane Diesel. He beat out some of the biggest. Yeah. In the, uh, Which uh, that's the power of the redhead, I guess. The ginger. Hey, for um, show 420, we were talking about it. If you guys are watching the fancy video of this over on uh, YouTube, Hi, YouTube, you miss the fabulous uh, pre-show and post-show ramblings of all of us here in the studio. But we were talking about our 420 show that's coming up and maybe having some edibles. Mm. Um are we going to have guests? If we do it here in the studio, we can have guests. Yeah, we can have guests. And they could so, be high. <laughs> Steph Hoops LV is getting married in June. Yes. And I'm going to her wedding. And she just hooked me up with a lady who does who makes edibles and can make sugar-free, like, um, savory edibles and sugar-free pudding edibles. And so I am down with this. Like seriously, I, don't they sell sugar free in the dispensaries? Not all of them. The one dispensary that I go to, uh, they the only sugar free thing they have is like these dark chocolate chips that look delicious. But the thing is, is me and dark chocolate is I would eat them all, and then I would have one of those like super powerful like freak out things probably because I'd eat it all. But you know, if I got a tiny little pudding cup and they're like, you can eat three, I would have three, and that'd be cool. And I'd eat those, and then I'd be high. <laughs> the last time I had an edible, um, Sweet Cheeks actually gave it to me. Uh, Sweet Cheeks from one of our former hosts. And so she gave me part of a cookie. We were out at a club. I would say she that gave night. I me, had part of a cookie, too. She gave me part of a cookie, and a while went by, and nothing happened. I was perfectly fine. And she's like, carry the other half. And um, it all hit at once. And I don't know if you remember any of this, but... I remember sitting by the front door um, near Juanita, and we'll, we'll talk about her um, as well, but um, near Juanita, and it all kicked in, and all I did was sit there and drool. I was just, my eyes, like, were basically shut. Drool was just, I could feel it dripping down my body. Everybody's That's coming sexy. up. They're like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> you know, as the drools pooled, like, dripping off of my chin. And... Um, and then afterward, uh, it must have been New Year's because there were food or there was food. And I'm really <laughs> weird about eating food in public places, as you know, from your cum chips at the Red Rooster. <laughs> I eat the fuck I out of them chips. Too. Touch, <laughs> I won't touch shit that other people like random strangers have their hands in. Um, like when we would go to the rooster and they have snacks out, Sierra would be like, get me a plate <laughs> and she'd be there. And I'm like, some dude just jerked off and then dug his hand in the chips and you're now eating his cum chips. Look, um, I probably swam in his cum in the pool. So what You else? did. That's a whole nother story when you <laughs> swim in that jizz pool. But, um, but I remember it just afterward. makes you, you know what, if you don't die from eating cum chips, it just makes you stronger for the next time you eat some other chips that are covered in something that you don't want them yeah, covered in. It what does. does not kill you makes, makes you stronger. That's true, that's true. So, I mean, I'm now inoculated super... against at least yeah. one version of the Herpacificon Lates. So, <laughs> at this point, I should be like Batman or some shit. Um, so, anyway... <laughs> I remember going over to the buffet and like there was hardly anything left and I'm like, I'll eat all of it. <laughs> and, you know, the next day I was just, I was so grossed out at the thought <laughs> that not only did I eat from that buffet, but I ate from that buffet like hours after people actually ate at it. So I got whatever was sitting there. 
and probably have been picked over. Yeah, have been picked over, put back. I have no idea. But um, I just remember spending most of that time sitting there drooling. Like I couldn't move. I just couldn't function. There, I have found that there are two kinds of stoned people. There are the ones that sit in a corner and drool right. or veg completely out and do nothing but eat. And then there's the kinds that's productive. Yeah. The ones that do every motherfucking thing. Yeah. I had if you're a, lucky enough to date one that's awesome, you keep him in weed. Yeah. I had one. I dated one that when he got high, he would build shit. And I'm not talking like rickety ass shit. Like, he had this insane entertainment center that he had built himself over a series of like three weekends where he was high as fuck. And it was made out of like cherry wood and it had all this like intricate working in it the way the pieces were fit together i was like are you a carpenter by trade he goes nah i do this when i get high and i'm like what the fuck like yeah he would just he would you know what i'm gonna build a house i'd be like <laughs> go for it like dude <laughs> rock on i had a um a four well you guys have been there i had a four bedroom three bath house it was pretty decent size and years ago I used to um, pay my sister to clean for me, and um, she would come, and she'd be like, I got to go outside for a few minutes, and she would. She would go outside, she would smoke, and she would come in, and she would, like, power through. I'm like, how are you already done in the bathrooms? And she's like, I'm, I, I just am, I just am, and that's what she would do. She would get high and then just be so effective. That she would just get shit done. Those I are am the coolest not, stoners ever. I am not effective. Nope. I am not. I, I am. can barely get the munchies I'm putting into my face and my mouth. The last time I got super high was with this bitch on a New Year's Eve. And I ended up spending most of the night eating meat off the charcuterie board. Eating meat dipped in spicy brown mustard. And it was the best Mm, I'd ever had best cotto salami ever. Yeah, <laughs> it was probably wheat thins, and you had no idea. <laughs> like, I think they were there too. Like you were just chunking on some wheat thins. No, and I like, ditched the wheat thins. Delicious. I ditched the wheat thins and the Fancy triscuits because they were too hard thing. to chew. While I was, up. I just wanted meat. I don't know. Didn't you text us the one time you were high and you like were seeing bubbles or something? <laughs> no, I was. I did like some poetry for you guys one time. That's, like yeah, some good. like even flow poetry over text message while I was high as fuck. Yeah, it was good. It was good shit. That's when you get high and drink a lot of coffee. Uh, <laughs> no, I wasn't drinking a lot of Your coffee. Your mind is still it. kind of alert, so you can still do oh, things like that was when poetry. I fucked up my back, and I needed to get high one night because yeah. I couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. I was, could not sleep, so I smoked a little weed, and I relaxed enough to sleep, but I also relaxed enough to roll off some like stupid butterfly poetry or some bullshit like that. I don't remember. <laughs> I was high. And I'm more, see, so my thing is more the drinking. And that's why, you know, you get the whole 3 a.m. Like, do you want to see my vagina in the bathroom at the blah, blah, blah? And it's, yeah. <laughs> um, for those of you. Uh, she also uh, encourages drunk text messaging, by the way. If you're like, I feel like I should drunk text message someone. She'd be like, you should. <laughs> and then it ruins relationships. Speaking yeah. of, our favorite yeah. local <laughs> famous liquor store. <laughs> has a billboard just outside uh, the building here, just mm -hmm. outside of WWDB TV, um, that says, I didn't text you, vodka did. Yes. That is that is like my life motto. <laughs> and, w and also, when Don't people... Don't come at me for dr things Drunk Sue did. Drunk Sober Sue was not there. You yeah. need to come at Drunk Sue for that. That's my whole thing, where you're like, and you said this and this and this last night, and you said this and this. I'm like, no. Tequila said that shit. I would never fucking say any of that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. never. When she's drunk, I'm the PC one, just so you all know. Right. I'm ridiculous. She's very I'm ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. It's fun, I go though. home with strangers. Like, I'm just ridiculous. I create parties. <laughs> you invite weird the people the parties. I do. So if you... Uh, Make out with our Uber drivers. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> I mean... In essence, it saves us from tipping, so it's for all of us. <laughs> uh, Luana says, I want some sugar-free edibles. Okay. If you're like myself and Sierra, and you get the munchies and veg out, totally. Are you that way, too? No, she just she drools, drools in the That's right. Yeah, just drools. Um, and you have access to sugar-free edibles. M put them away after you eat a couple. Yeah, yeah. No, I only need as many as it'll take me to get high. I don't want extras. No. Because then I'll just keep eating those bitches. And you know what happens when you eat the sugar-free alcohols that come yeah, in the sugar-free stuff? I, uh, I do that regularly just to remind myself why I shouldn't do that. So be careful. 
um, free cleansing. So, um, yeah. It's Jelly it, Belly. You know I makes... just turned it into the shit show. God damn it! Yeah, <laughs> and it's always her that does it. Woo! So Jelly Bellies makes sugar-free Jelly Bellies, and they You're and they make the one who's like. They also make sugar-free gummy bears, and it very clearly says in the back of the package that it is two servings, and this package is very small. So I thought, you know what? I've never actually eaten a whole package of these, and I've had a half a pack. Like I've kept myself to one serving and been fine. So I sat down and ate a whole pack of sugar-free gummy bears. It's like 15 gummy bears tops, I'm telling you guys. And uh, I regretted it for two days. I shit like a fire hose <laughs> for two days. We have uh, two people who miss Sweet Cheeks. Aww. We miss her too. She's still around, right? I don't know. Um, and Jasper says, you are better off skinny dipping in a septic tank than getting in the Red Rooster's pool. Uh, Jasper, I would like to remind you that the last time I was at the Red Rooster, I happened to see someone who looked a lot like you there in the pool. <laughs> Was he getting a hand job that he wasn't going to take a some No, that was a hot tub. Mm -hmm. Oh, hot tub. (laughs) Oh, they have a hot tub right next to the pool. Yeah. So, you know, don't be throwing stones out your glass house, bitch. (laughs) Just kidding. I love you, Jess. We love you, Jess. So, no, because I make fun of her every time. I'm like, I can't walk in that pool. I will get pregnant by the time I hit the third (laughs) step in. (laughs) I can't do it. I just, I can't. And when, the, you know, later when I get asked whose baby it is, I'm like, the rooster pool's baby. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I would like to say that um, I've been in the pool. The very I think the very first time we went, I went into the pool. Mm-hmm. The chlorine is so strong in Woo! that pool. Yeah, it's bad. Nothing is living. No. But it doesn't stop the fact that it there's a mushroom. Hair. There, There's like a mushroom cloud of jizz just floating around there. Yes. Like it doesn't stop that. But, but it's completely sterilized. inert. Yeah, they've been completely sterilized. <laughs> it's sterilized, but it's still random people's jizz. And so. Well, I'm not putting it in my mouth. It's not like I'm going and going. Oh. What if you accidentally get some water? Someone splashes you and you got water she in your mouth. She eats cum now. chips. It's <laughs> true. Why, why am I even arguing this? I. You're right. You're right. Do you know how many random dudes dicks have been in my mouth? That's true. I, I, I can't, uh, I, I can't uh, argue that either because I've had a lot of random dicks in my mouth too. I'm pretty sure you have as well. Yeah, and they're not chlorinated, <laughs> those dicks. <laughs> I'd like you to chlorinate your dick before I randomly stick you it in my mouth. You can carry around a spray bottle. You could. <laughs> chlorinate. Just be like, <laughs> can you? Is there like, it could be a turn on for dick somebody. spray? Is there dick spray? Of course there's dick spray. It's called uh was that tafactin tafactin tenactin? No, jock itch spray. <laughs> that's for your feet. Well, they make that's one for, for your. They make a jock itch spray too. That's for jock itch. We don't need it for jock itch. Well, then you know you won't get thrush. Oh Jesus, Christ. <laughs> so the pool. Just Lysol, right? No, because then you got to put your mouth on it. Yeah, later, do you want to so. taste Lysol? No. Maybe we could talk. Like Lysol. I'm just going to pour tequila. Maybe like we could talk Lysol sanitizers? into making dick spray strawberry. Flavor, flavor, dick spray. Can't you just pour some tequila right on the dick? And yes, then... yes, yes. Tequila is a great antiseptic. Just carry tequila around a little shit. spritz bottle of tequila and be like, "Listen, I'm an alcoholic, and I need to spray your dick with tequila." Oh, just make sure he doesn't have any open wounds. Ladies. Actually, that's a great way to find out if he does, because if he starts screaming, you know he's got an open wound yes. on his dick somewhere. And it doesn't. You don't have to. Ladies, limit it to, you don't carry have to a spritz limit... bottle of tequila. You're welcome. If there was no other reason for you to watch the show tonight, you have it now. Here it is. We're sorry there's no Thor, but we have now mm-hmm. taught you how to disinfect a dick. Before you put it in your mouth. <laughs> Abby said, I feel like if the hygiene isn't there, I'm not going to put it in my mouth. <laughs> but sometimes it's not going in my mouth. But sometimes you can't see. Yeah, what if he what if he took a vag bath in his friend's bathroom before he left the house and <laughs> came over to see you? She di- she don't don't say it. Don't say it. Just, there was nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with it. Sometimes you want to have a clean vagina before you go out. <laughs> My choice was ask to go up and shower quick or just take a badge bet, like a sink. You called uh, yourself out. She didn't even I mention did. your name. I did. I know. <laughs> because I knew she would do that. I don't have to call her out. She does it herself. <laughs> and just so you know, the only reason I shared is because I hoped it would give you a smile. 
That's all. It totally did. And also, I want you to know why, I don't know, there were vagina paper towels in your sink. So You know, they sell, no, I threw them they sell wipes just for that. They do, but I don't randomly you like... You go to the 99 cent store and just get some baby wipes. Just the same thing. I Number one, I'm perfectly fine anyway. <laughs> like, I didn't need to clean shit. I'm just paranoid. So, oh, I am too. Like, I don't care if I showered three times before that date. If I know it's going down, before we get home, I'm like, I need to go freshen up. And I'm in his bathroom. <laughs> and we've all done it. We've all done it. And again, like, there's nothing. I know my shit's good. Yeah, like, my I shit's know good. it's good. But you I could still do it. Double duty. Use the tequila spray on you. <laughs> They'd be like, excuse me, why does your clit taste like a tequila sunrise? Why are we both drunk and we haven't actually drank? (laughs) (laughs) So instead of having to worry about using your friend's bathroom or anything like that, you just take your spray bottle and So you could just get it, pour it in a little glass and splash it out. It's a lot easier just to spray it with a spray bottle, baby. True. Okay. Just get one that has a stream. Spray bottle that. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Work it around in there. (laughs) <laughs> one day my child will google my name and this show is going to appear in his google responses and he is going to know to carry a spray bottle That's right. of tequila around it goes to spritz but, his look, dick. This, is a, this is a marketing ploy that we could market to both men and women and transgender and anything even asexuals and jose cuervo right i'm just saying this is a money-making idea can we put our faces on the bottle? Like, I think it would be most effective. <laughs> Vag Spray Tequila brought to you by Sin City Bounty. I'm, <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> Jasper said, oh, and I we just talked about this. Um, I'm literally, I'm a literal clean freak. I'm the type I'll take a shower before I go to the gym. When I come home from the gym, I'll take a shower again. And I, I actually, before I would go to yoga, I shower. I never want to be the one in yoga going, am I smelling myself? Like... But I always, like, I like to feel fresh when I go, and then same when I get back, so. When I go to the gym, it's early in the morning, and I don't give a fuck, and I really don't give a fuck, but I do shower after, because my gym has a really nice shower. I always showered after, too. Yeah, I always shower after. I have shower shoes and everything, so I was in the army. Yep. I'm not about to get that swamp foot shit from those bitches yeah, who no, don't. Yep. don't do that. And I see those girls, too, with their fucked up ass toes just walking around barefoot, and I'm like, Jesus! <laughs> The Wait, feminine can... version of our tequila spray is currently marketed as FDS. Uh, Jasper dick says, spray. otherwise known as Funky Dick Spray. Funky Dick Spray. Hmm. There is a feminine spray that's for sale out there. But I think tequila would go over better. But just because remember, if it smells like fish, do what you wish. If it smells like cologne, leave it alone. But if it smells like tequila, <laughs> what's the rhyme? Uh, I don't have one. Drink it. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's a dick or a clip. Suck it. That, that's William our new said marketing. this show Hashtag brings new meaning it. to the term tequila poppers. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, what were we going to talk about today? A lot of things that we were going to talk about. Let's talk about. How did we even get on this? You uh, before you went to bed last night. Oh, okay. So I was a little bit horny last night, and I was like, "All right, when I go to bed tonight." I'm totally going to masturbate. And then I remembered there was no Tumblr porn, so I just went to sleep. Because I was not about to pull up some, like, five-minute long thing video when all I need to see is, like, a gift. GIF. Damn you, Tumblr. Damn you. But if you get the five-minute one, you just fast forward to the good stuff. Yeah, but you, you're sitting there playing with buttons that are not on your body. Yeah, yeah but I you're going to want one button <laughs> to diddle. You, you got to multitask, girl. I don't want to multitask. This is what I liked about Tumblr. It was one finger action. (laughs) That was it. That was the whole night. I didn't have to be like, tap, tap, search. And you know what? I'm terrible with searching one handed. So I got to use the voice to text. So I got to whisper to it because I don't need my kid to hear big juicy clit. Like, I don't need him to hear that. And then I've got to remember to turn the volume all the way down. So like, well, that one's going to be like, oh, 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 Jesus, fuck, stick, fucking shit, Christ. Like, <laughs> it's too fucking much, man. Tumblr was it perfect. Is. It was silent. <laughs> and if there was a video that had audio, there would be a little button on there so you could know to turn your audio down first and then click it and then be like, oh, oh, 
<laughs> and it was only like a minute and a half because they're like from YouTube in the way back. <laughs> oh, that was good. Next. <laughs> like that was all I needed. Yep. And now I don't have that. So is that why your phone smells like fish? No, it's because I had sushi the other night. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> and I'll have you to know that I have seen the reports on your phone being the dirtiest fucking thing you own, and this bitch gets an alcohol wipe down like every other day. <laughs> I, on Sunday, I attend church regularly on Sunday, and on Sunday, on the table that I was at was this big, beautiful, black and white drawing illustration, not a drawing. Of a beautiful vagina. I thought you drew that. No. That totally does look like something she would have drawn, but yeah, god damn, I that thing was beautiful. That. It was beautiful. Full bush and everything. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a, a, a teaching aid, right? It is a teaching yeah. aid. You get to label all the parts. Gorgeous. On my desk at church. That was the best. That's the best part of it. I love I it. I literally thought you drew that at Thank church. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she could have. So I no. could have. And not been chastised for it because... It's a fabulous church. You know, what makes me sad is whenever I see pictures of vaginas like that, I don't have those inner lips. I only right? Have the little ones that go. F- the little like butterfly wing ones. Yeah. I don't have that. I only have the big, fat, juicy outer lip. And I want like some delicate inner lady lips. Are you sure they're just not like stuck to the side because you're juicy? <laughs> no. Trust me, I'm intimately familiar with the look of my vagina. There's no inner butterfly lip. I'm totally trying to, I'm like, let me find some photos. <laughs> <laughs> I am not sure, but I will Because everyone's be like, because whenever you label it, it's like outer labia, mm-hmm. it, or labia, labia majora, labia minor, minor. I don't have labia minor. I only have majora. Oh. Mask. My nerds out there got that. <laughs> All right, so that, we're gonna, that was we're, one thing we're going to talk about. I wanted to mention the Girl Scouts. Mm. Um, I posted this story. Um, the Girl Scouts were given a hundred thousand uh, dollars for donations, and then was told that they could not use it for any transgender charity work. The Girl Scouts gave the money back. Congratulations, Girl Scouts, for doing the one thing the My Scouting Group's been doing forever. I'm not. I'm not coming down on your scouts. No, no, no. I know you're not. I just, so the scouts, I love that both. Let your scouts make the news and we'll talk about them on the show. (laughs) Yeah, they're not assholes, so they won't. Um, So I love that the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of America. The others aren't assholes. They're just sized much larger. Larger. And the name is, the brand is more familiar than your scouts. I I love that both scouting groups are going in a more open-minded direction. Yes. And I love that that is being driven by the fact that more and more people are fed up with the bullshit clickishness that the Scouts have been like forever and ever. Right. I mean, I always wanted to be in Girl Scouts, but every time you see those girls in that uniform, they were never nice to me. Like, they were always mean girls, like mean girl type people. And I was like, man, I don't want to be a part of that. You know group. why? It's because uh, Toxie told us they don't actually go out in the woods. <laughs> They sit around tables and make crafts. Yeah, and so I'm glad I didn't join because I'd have been mad. But uh, there are, just so you know, don't if you don't like Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, but you just still want something like that, there's more scouting groups out there that are not just the one that my, my kid is involved in. There's a couple of other smaller scouting groups out there. There's, like, the Pathfinders, and there's a bunch of other groups out there that are open-minded, co-ed, gender neutral non-denominational if you don't want your kid praying to god every time they go out to tie a knot and a fucking rope in a tree uh there's plenty of other groups Mm -hmm. out there that do all that stuff and the up-and-comer is well my kid is a part of spiral scouts international um we love that group they are non-denominational co-ed and multi-tiered but they're also super inclusive so he's the oldest of the group but he doesn't attend scout meetings by himself all of the different scout groups go together as a group and they work together and because of the level he's at he's encouraged to help the younger kids with their um part of his getting badges is to help the younger kids get their badges so it's pretty cool i know that kind of training it's good training it is good training Mm -hmm. he loves it a lot he's sewing on my sewing machine your boy is sewing on my i sewing love machine. it yeah. that you were telling me about there's no distinction between girl stuff and boy stuff no there's no all the scouting badges 
they're all the same for the boys and girls. And then they also have awards badges, which you can earn on top of scouts badges, but are not required. And they don't give you any extra oomph. It's just, you know, to have more, more shit your parents have to pay for. That's all it is, really. All right. So that's the one story I wanted to mention. Yay, Girl Kudos, Scouts. Girl Scouts. Oh, it's Girl Scout cookie time, too, isn't it? Yeah. I've Find seen your posts. dealer. Yep. I, so my daughter was a Girl Scout for about a year. And I couldn't. I pulled her. Um, <clears throat> Where she was at, it was very unorganized. It was, honestly, it was a lot of, like, you come in, you do crafts, you sing a song, you talk about a sewing project or butterflies or what the fuck ever. Um, But every time I walked in, it was just, it was utter chaos. Like, even little things that we went to, um, and I'm sure not all groups are like this, um, but I didn't get value from it for her. I like the entrepreneurship of the cookie sales, but you have to be known for more than cookie sales. Like there has to be something else that you're giving out there or putting out there other than the ability to make cookies and sew a patch. Um, So it didn't work, but fuck you, those cookies. I remember having to pay like $400 um, in cookies because it just so happens I was the best customer. So... (laughs) We had cookies out the ass forever, and we sold a bunch, but I still... Want? Turn your mic on. It is on. Okay. You say that every time, but then I listen to the video, and it's... Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes. So, how much on a box of cookies were... Now, four or five bucks, or three bucks, or something? They're, they're like five fifty or six fifty yeah. a box. How much So I will say it does a portion, I don't remember the portion, but a portion went back to, um, for my daughter, to her troop, because they were taking the, the, they were bridging over to whatever the next group was, and so they offered to purchase our sashes using the Girl Scout money. Um, I don't know, you know, what the percentage was, but I do know some goes back to that actual unit. Probably. But some of it well, goes to the unit. Like, like some of it goes to the Girl Scouts altogether. I'd rather the cookies. You, just because they're cookies. Right. It, it, it's, it teaches the kids, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, uh, that, hey, if you put in all this hard work, you're only going to get a little bit. And that's the way it's going to be the rest of your life. But I think Most it depends. Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, most schools, you know, when they come around, the kids that are selling the candy bars, I always buy their candy bars because it's usually for band. Right, or and they're high, the candy bars like are that. high markups. And yeah. those, but the, they get from a what lot I understand, that. the kids get 50%. percent they do That's why they're a high. So they're I'm going to assume, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that the Girl Scouts at least, I would say at least get that much. It ha- See, they have to get enough to where some goes to the unit, some goes to the, the Girl Scouts overall. I mean, when I was a Girl Scout, I specifically remember going to, like, this big Girl Scout jamboree um, that my mom didn't have to pay for. And it was this big, huge event, you know, with with a ton of other Girl Scouts. Um, but my daughter's, you know, troop, I guess, wasn't at that point or what have you. Um, I know when they did, like, I think it covered a party or something like that you know i don't know for those of you in our chat if you have friends who are girl scout moms um send them a text or something and find out what the percentage is that the girls get to keep uh back in my younger days i used to shake down girl scouts for samoas those samoas mm, the samoa cookies i think those are my favorites yeah they're called like coconut something or others now they're not samoas anymore but um yeah uh, oh, I could and then uh, Jasper pocket. says them Thin Mints were straight crack. <laughs> the Thin Mints, and I love, they have these peanut butter ones where it's just two peanut butter cookies and peanut butter cream in the middle. And those are just amazing. Not coated, are they, they coated in a, chocolate? No, but those are great too. Yeah. They have a new one. It's not new, but it's the newest cookie, but it's this giant like lemon shortbread cookie thing with, mm-hmm. oh, Jesus, fuck me. And just so you know, <sighs> different regions actually have different cookies. Nuh-uh. They do. So there's a main staple. I mean, your Thin Mints, everyone has your... Samoas, um, whatever they're called Yeah, I'm called trying now. to think of what, what they are called now, but yeah, those, um, the Dosey Dos or whatever, 
Uh, so that that's the main staple, but like the lemon, you're not going to be able to get all over the U.S. Hmm. Um, and sometimes they'll come out with like a oatmeal raisin biscuit, some shit, and then different places. So I've seen have some. I've seen some uh, post in my feed on my on Facebook about who's got the cookies, whose kids are uh, selling the cookies right now, because I know it's that time, and almost every single mom is referring. Uh, those people to the online store so I just saw that starting in the past few years when my daughter was in that wasn't an option (coughs) because we have family out of town where they were like you know get me 10 boxes and we'll pay you the next time we see you and I'm like all right I'll put that out of my pocket um I love the thought of the online sales that would make a huge difference yeah because now I don't have to interact with fucking girl scouts to get cookies Uh, but, but unless PayPal or any of those guys are giving up their fee, that's a little bit more the money that the Girl Scouts don't get. Just saying. So I, would, I, I would hope that PayPal would step up and say, Girl Scouts don't need to pay the fee. You might just pay right. direct to them. It might not. Is PayPal an option? It might just be a direct purchase with a credit yeah, card. Yeah, if they're using their own e-commerce tool, they may not yeah. need to use PayPal. True. Uh, Margaret said Google says the troop gets 21%. What? But does the, does the actual troop get the 21%? Or is that or Girl Scouts is it, that, International? Girl Scouts? Is that split with uh, International? Right. And is it like that troop? Is it the local unit? Is it the overall? Unless Girl Scouts International are the ones supplying the cookies. Um, <coughs> I don't know. There's I believe there's two different Because if that's the case, then International gets... 79 percent yeah they still have to have a manufacturer of the cookies and there's two different ones that's why also another reason that the cookie types kind of vary okay all right so what else would you want to talk about Mm. so uh not to be a Debbie Downer but we have lost a lot of people in January 2019 Uh, incredibly more than we ever expected not only within the BBW community but in our own personal lives in some work spheres that we've been in in the past Um, If I really did a list, it would be far too long of everyone that we have had passed. But we do want to, um, locally, Juanita, um, she put on the BBW group here that was one of the longest running in town. I think it was Las Vegas BBWs, right? Was it Las Vegas BBWs? Yeah, it was BBW Club Las Vegas. Um, She started out on the East Coast. So she started out in Connecticut with a group that was heavily attended. People still to this day will say I remember her from the East Coast. Um, She started out with that. She is really a matriarch of the community. Um, There's so many people out there who met someone because of her, whether it was one of her events or her directly. Um, Like, for example, at the end of the day, I wouldn't know either of them if it wasn't for Juanita. Mm in my relationship with her and then going and, you know, participating at the, the club that she had and then, you know, ultimately meeting everybody within here. And I think I met Sweet Cheeks at another event, but again, it all kind of tied back to Juanita. Um, she did annual BBW cruises um, that, you know, were well attended. So definitely a, a huge, huge loss in the BBW community. So. We also lost uh, Jan Reddy Marks um, from the BBW community. She was uh, a much older lady, but she was very kind. I'd only had a few interactions with her, but she was always super nice and super sweet. Um, Yeah, that's the two that we'll talk about. Uh, We've lost, uh, Alexia lost someone personally this month. Um, I lost a former coworker that I really liked working with. Um, a friend of ours lost her mother. Two friends of ours have lost their That's mothers. Right. Um, I, it, it's just been a bad. It's a bad month for people who are older. Uh, I gotta call my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't even know until this moment that your grandma was alive. Yes. The, yeah. Oh wait, no, I did. You I did. did. I know where she's at. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I rem- now I know from another sibling. I've already lost three I remember grandmothers. Okay. Well, I have, you have I've a had, bunch, I've right? had three grandmothers. Yeah, I have three. I lost the other two. One a long time ago. One not that long ago. And I still have one. She better hold on forever. Although I think she will, because she's 
She walks like eight miles a day. And she carries a uh, she carries a spray bottle of whiskey, I believe. <laughs> she is living the best life. <laughs> living the best life. No, but she still bakes and shit. So, you know. Um, yeah, so I my grandparents all passed away when I was younger, the ones I knew. Um, but my daughter has a great grandmother who's like in her nineties. For uh, those of you who um, watch us or listen to us live here on WWDB, have ever been in the studio or met some of the other um, show hosts uh, that are here on the station, um, we lost uh, one of my very favorite people, um, Bill from Southern Nevada Sports News. Finish. He was a really nice guy, super duper sweet. Um, He died of complications from a procedure that he had done. Uh, we're going to miss him terribly. He was just just a really nice guy. It always sucks when those are the ones that go. All right, let's change the subject. Okay, no more death and dying. So dicks are <laughs> tasty. Especially if you spray them with tequila first. Yeah. Oh, dick tried dick piercings. Oh, is that his? Yeah. Damn. So this is a friend of yours. Sh- uh, took a picture of his piercing. God damn. <laughs> and sent you this picture, right? We yeah. cannot post this on no. anywhere. And we can't post it on our Tumblr page anymore either. Right. Oh, that's where we would have posted it. Although we do have that dick blog still somewhere. And for the record, the I, I did specifically ask if I could show it to you ladies. Okay. I didn't ask to put it on a website. This was but... not. This was a solicited dick pic, not an unsolicited dick pic. We requested this <laughs> dick pic. We received it. We enjoyed it. And we did the same thing we do with unsolicited dick pics. We shared it with our friends. <laughs> yes. 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 Whatever happened to your blog? It's floating around out there. It's, yeah. I'm, well, uh, surprisingly, I don't get as many dick pics yeah, as I used to. Yeah, neither do I. No, not yours. Toxie was doing one. Um, oh, it's still there. She, it's still there. Yeah, she, it's still um, there. She wrote one, which I haven't posted yet. But oh, okay. So there are a couple of different... I'm not showing this picture because this will violate all of our terms of service. So there's a couple of different penis piercings out there. Toxie um, has a friend who has a Prince Albert, and it's actually a lowered Prince Albert. It goes from... Front to bottom instead of front to top, which is a reverse Prince Albert. What is a Prince Albert? So a Prince Albert is a penis piercing. It goes in the urethra and either up through the top for a reverse or down through the bottom for a traditional uh, Prince Albert. And um, I've known a few guys who have it. And one of the problems with having a Prince Albert is because it does actually pierce the urethra if you don't have jewelry in, in some cases, if you have jewelry in that's too small, um, urine and other fluids will leak out of that additional hole you have placed in your penis. Which so, means if you come with no jewelry in, you're coming out two holes at once. So here's how we, we were talking about it. I brought up, and, and he's actually going to find out now for the first time um, right now. <laughs> That we've He's, been talking about his penis? We've been talking about the penis and the piercing. And the reason I brought it up is I said I kind of have, you know, I have an issue. And it's I apprehension. Not really an issue. It's not an issue. It's you're, not an issue. You're a little it's, um, afraid. I'm afraid. Thank you. That is actually actually the best word. In um, case you didn't know, Toxie, if you Googled afraid, her picture will show up. It will. So I was explaining to them how um, I, number one, I was not aware that if you take the piercing out, that um, that it can go in different directions. And I only know because he mentioned to me, like, yeah, if he has the piercing out, he has to block the one hole so he's not, like, peeing all over. And immediately in my mind, it immediately went to, like, is it going to be like a uh, cum sprinkler in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> and so you so gotta make the noise to go with it <laughs> what the come 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 spray come 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 spray that's even better and than around the kitchen table <laughs> i've been practicing so <laughs> so now <laughs> that's all she sees so it's all i think about and then i think like you know, while I'm there, I'm like, oh, my God, because the piercing's out. I'm like, am I going to, like, catch my tooth on a hole? And then I'm, like, ripping the dude's dick? Like, am I going to be that person that now you have a story of, you know, So one of the things that we suggested hole? was to pull out. <laughs> but then you could get shot in the eye and up the nostril. Right. <laughs> so it's just, I'm assuming that, like, normally, 
if I'm going to um, finish in my mouth, I'm, I'm more of the like, just shoot it down the back of my throat. Like, just get it back there. I'm not, I'm not a gargler. Like, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna swish the cum around like some. I'm not gonna, you know, fountain it out of my mouth and catch it. I'm just, I'm like, shoot it right down. <laughs> Let's make this happen. Um, but I'm, I'm really afraid because it's gonna go like it's gonna be coming out of my ear. <laughs> And down my throat at the same It'll time. It'll just come out your nose. My nose? And that so. burns a little, but you get over it. And then it smells like the ocean for a while for some weird reason. <laughs> but it's then, all the salt. That must be all the salt, I guess. <laughs> but then, so, so then it's cum nose. So the result of sprinkler cum is cum nose. Cum nose. Just so you know, mysterious friend, you have a nickname now. You have a show name. You are officially the cum sprinkler. <laughs> That's your official name, dude. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll be at like Seven Eleven afterward, and someone will be like, "Do you, you must have some Coke or something there at your nose?" I'm like, "Nah, man, it's, it's dried cum. sperm. It's cum. <laughs> it's just, you know, if you had him wear a condom, you wouldn't have to worry a, about it. A wiener rainbird. True. It'll all, it'll all kind of catch in there. Yeah. So. Of course. I don't know if they they sell they do sell strawberry flavored uh, condoms. condoms. Yeah. But that she needs tequila flavored condoms. I need sure. tequila flavored. You can make your own. Um, can you wear a band aid? Like, is that. <laughs> Do you, you want to put a band aid over his throat? <laughs> <laughs> you know how band aids are? They don't even stick in normal times. What is it going to be like? You're going to be like. <coughs> actually, uh, you're going to hairball a band aid out ba- after you suck a guy's dick? Band aids, actually, <laughs> most band aids do stick. Get the cloth ones. Uh-huh. Um, you can substitute with the Walmart brand. Do not buy Curad yeah. or I'll anything. I'll tell you right now. Dollar I'm not going to cheap out on a Walmart brand. I will tell you, I will not cheap out on a Walmart brand Band-Aid if I'm going to put on your dick before I suck it. I at least, at least will get you the good brand. Maybe. You need some protection. <laughs> of course, if you put a condom on it, it will not only protect you from having it come out your ear or going up your nose, <sighs> but from any of the herp- uh, what is it? The herp- That's the one. I can't right. say the word. But there happen to be no herpesifagonolades because clean bill of health on the wiener. He, he showed so. you his card? Yes. Nice. So we're good. My herpesifagonolades free card. I got one of those. It, of course, you know, it's, it's, it's not it's, getting stamped with anything regularly anyway. It's, so. it's kind of weird. You want someone to have it, but if they whip it out to show it to you, you wonder why they're carrying it around. I will have you to know that I do keep, like, my um, my doctor's office sends you a digital copy of your records. Mm-hmm. So I have a digital copy of my no herpesifagonolades report that I carry around in my purse or on my phone. I can pull it up right now if you guys want to see it. I do that with my insurance card in my car. I do that, too. <laughs> So I have my, I have my, um, I'm not going to get you sick with a vagina disease card. And I have my, if you crash into me, we can exchange information's card. (laughs) And you just try not to mix them up in the case of an accident. (laughs) Like, police officer, I have insurance. I also don't have AIDS. (laughs) (laughs) If the cop is really cute, then, you know. Well, yeah, I'll be like, so here's my insurance card. And here's my other card. Hi. I can't do that. I just like saying it that way. Can you do it? Officer. What? What she does. <laughs> really, Robert. You must be I have joking. to practice a little bit first. So we were talking about it and then realizing that there are other, lots of other piercings. I had only ever been familiar with the one that's underneath um, the shaft. I don't so know the there's one that goes term. straight through top to bottom. Right? Do you know what that's called? Uh, yes, uh, and it it can also go from side to side. I'm, let me pull right. up my side to side or top to bottom. Yeah, um, it's called an apodravia or an ampelang. Yeah, so it ampelang. goes go, uh, goes across. It's a bar. It's a bar that goes across the head of the dick, but it doesn't actually pierce any of. Uh, it doesn't pierce the urethra. It's almost a surface piercing, but it's a little bit deeper than that. Um, uh, my 
one of my sisters has an ex-husband. She actually has a couple of them. Uh, but she has an ex-husband who had what we called the triceratops piercing. So he had a, a reverse Prince Albert. So it went from front to top instead of front to bottom. And then he had an ampling across the top. And so it looked like a fucking triceratops on his penis. And he would use the Prince Albert to as a joystick for his urine stream. Like he could direct it with his Prince Albert. <laughs> Funny. Can this dude do that if you leave the person piercing in? Well, his is a regular Prince Albert, so it goes from top to bottom. So he'd have to do like some real, I mean, I know he knows how to diddle his dick, so he'd have to do some real dick diddling to do that. I probably know an engineer who could hook up a connection so he could just do it Yeah, from his hands. I know I do. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I love piercings. Uh, I played around with getting one this year. I still might. I don't know. Where were you piercing? I was thinking about doing an industrial piercing from here to here on my the cartilage in my ear. Why is it called an industrial piercing? I don't know. That's just what it's called. Because of the big ass giant Probably. thing that you because piercing. Because if you're with. working in a warehouse and you fall on one of those metal poles and it goes through your ear, bam, industrial <laughs> piercing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a guy who had a piercing? On his penis? No, I haven't, surprisingly. Lots of other piercings, but not on his penis. What about you? Yeah. Yeah? And was it more enjoyable? So... Because that's, that's, that's the whole draw. One of, one of the draws, right, is that it's supposed to pleasure your partner. Right. So the, the <coughs> one I um, had before it was the underneath the shaft. Um, and I really don't remember anything kind of, you know, different. Um, this one more so feels like... You have a dick in you, and someone's, like, running their finger down the side of your inner wall, I guess. At the same so it time. tickles? It doesn't tickle. You just feel it there. So there's, like, you're getting dicked by two dicks at the same time? No. Or a dick and a finger? No, like, the dick's there, right? Like, the dick's there, and then... There's also a finger. Like, a finger, like, someone's, like, touching you. Like, hey! Now I'm super turned on, and super sad <laughs> Tumblr is gone. <laughs> I gotta queue up some shit before I get home. Hold on. Paul says. <laughs> Paul says industrial piercings are cool. Do it. Paul, why are they called industrial piercings? I don't know. Um, what about tongue piercings? I. So little known fact, I have actually had many piercings over the course of my lifetime. I've had my eyebrow pierced. I have a scar from that. I have had my tongue pierced, and I've had my belly button pierced. So my eyebrow and my belly button were pretty, like, normal, standard size piercings. You were such a 90s kid. <laughs> I was. So um, my tongue piercing, however, I was obsessed with it. And I had it gauged at one point to an aught, to a zero, which is about this big around. I essentially had a plug in my tongue with a giant ball on top of it. I'll tell you, my girlfriend really liked that at the time. Um, my boyfriend did, too. Hmm. They both liked it. Uh, so... Man, and that was fun because you'd go into the piercer, and um, I I had it professionally stretched. Most people would just, just jam a new piece of jewelry in there, but that's how you get infections. So they have a stretching bar that gauges you from one gauge to the next, and it's shaped like a like a Y. And they screw the new one in, and they pull it through your tongue, and they kind of just slowly stretch it open to accommodate the new piercing. And um, do you sit like this for two hours? No, it takes like two seconds. Oh. It's not complicated. Uh, when I say slowly. Oh, no, when I stretch my shoes, it has to be like overnight. Right? <laughs> it takes a while to stretch out. When I stretch my jeans, that fucking takes a while. Nah, man. My tongue stretches real good. Real good. <laughs> anyway. Um, so the last time I had it stretched, I was going from whatever the co size is up to the, the big one that I had in. And I actually had a little bit of a crowd because no one had ever, this was before like huge gauges were really a thing. or And hardly anyone would do big gauges in their tongue. Um, and so I had like three or four people watching as I gauged up to a it's double probably because It's probably because when you drink, it dribbles. <laughs> what? Be tongue what sprinkler. do you have here? The presses must stop for memes. Okay. I just bought this old prison bus and 50 orange jumpsuits. <laughs> I saw this one. Now I need 50 friends to put them on so we can go to Walmart parking lot and jump out and run off. I am 
I'm down for this. And you know what? I would like to be 50 female friends so that everybody can be like, holy shit, where's crazy eyes? Like, that's that's my goal. That's some squad goals. I don't have enough friends for that, though. There's three of us I climbing do. off the bus. Yeah. I do. You do? I can recruit some people. Yeah. She likes people. I don't. I have no friends. My mom says it all the guys. time. Oma, you have too much friends. <laughs> yeah. You're too nice. That's my, my bus would be one. me because I forgot to invite everyone. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, shit, I was supposed to invite people. <laughs> then I'd get drunk, go to a bar, get a bus full of people there. She would. Paul says, industrial piercings jet across the top of the ear. Cool. Tongue piercings are awesome. So those are the only things called? That's the only thing called an industrial piercing is on your ear? Yeah, the one that goes, the bar that goes across is called an industrial. And everything else is called like this is a eyebrow piercing and this is a lip piercing and this is a nose well and but there's multiple lip piercings so there's the labray which is the one that's right here there's a monroe which is either top left or top right um up here and then there's um like these is called something specific the one that goes on both of these and yeah um there's also anal piercings i pierce the anal rim yeah what listen if it is on your body it can be pierced there are women who have their clits pierced well, of course, everyone's heard of that. But I had to have, who else has heard of anal piercing? Like, you're clearly not into the right kink community. Apparently, I'm not. It must be, it must, it must be just for that particular kink community. Because it's not like you're showing it off. Like, with the tongue, you ever met anybody who had a tongue piercing, especially when it was brand new? They are like this all the time. Oh, and clink, clink, clink. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah. They're teeth. constantly, I've, their tongue is out of their mouth. Yeah, that, that tongue piercing destroyed the inside of my teeth. Like, yeah. I yeah. totally destroyed the inside of my teeth. My and sister had And one, people and who funny. have, uh, I've seen, they're it's concave. usually the eyebrow piercing, but those people are always fussing with it, messing with it, twirling it. It's just like fucking with your hair or anything else. Whatever. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's a thing on my body I play with. Listen, I love piercings. I Hi. love tattoos. I actually don't have near, as nearly nearly as many piercings as I've wanted in my life or nearly as many tattoos. So I'll tell you about the one tattoo that I'm super glad I never got. Uh, I am very much a 90s kid, and I was going to have a tramp stamp done that said, have a nice ride. Uh, but I'm super <laughs> glad that I did not Why do that. did you not get that done? <laughs> that is the ultimate. That would have been mentioned on every episode of our show. There's that would have been the that would if you logged into Sin City Bounty's Facebook page that would be our cover photo <laughs> would be my tramp stamp have a nice ride like that's what it'd be. although now since I'm much bigger than I was back when I was getting tattoos as a kid it would say have a nice ride like that's what it would say now <laughs> my friend and I my very the very first threesome that I participated in and I use the term participated very loosely because you um, just touch a boob I fell asleep. So, <laughs> um, so my very first threesome, uh, the next morning, my friend and I like looked and the guy was uh, asleep and um, he had a tramp stamp. He was a dude with a tramp stamp. I knew another dude who had a tramp stamp too. Okay. He had a very specific reason. So he was an idiot who rode a motorcycle and didn't wear leathers. And I believe in leathers because I've seen them save lives. Um, but he would ride a motorcycle, and he had a tramp stamp done because his T-shirt would flap up when he was riding the motorcycle. So he had this giant, like, patriotic, like, spread across his tramp stamp area. It was like an, an, a bald eagle and a big American flag, and it was like, ride free or some shit like that. It was like, dude, that's the douchiest tramp stamp I've ever seen in my life. Like, come on. Come on. I don't know. This leathers. is pretty. Did you find an article about anal piercings? Because we're not going to have time to talk about it. Um, no, I was just going through the list of the different piercings. Oh, okay. And anal piercing was the one. I mean, the rest seem like things I would know about. Like there was a taint piercing, except they call it something fancy. Um, it's a perineum. Peritoneum but the. Um, yeah, that's the actual medical term, I think. <laughs> not, yeah, not but something the, fancy. <laughs> now there's, look, there's another one, and it's called Gichi, G U I C H E. A piercing of the male perineum. That's the taint. Right. But it's called like a Gichi piercing. Uh, we hope you learned something tonight. Uh, don't forget to carry around your spray bottle of tequila or Irish whiskey. If you are watching this on YouTube, please click the like button. If you liked it, put thumbs down if you thought taint piercings were awful. Um, 
and click subscribe. And if you want to know when we post our new videos up on YouTube, hit that little bell icon and it will send you a notification. Yep. I'm Alexia. Toxie. And Sierra, wishing you would all donate to our Patreon. Lay the bitches! <laughs> We've totally spaced mentioning Patreon at the beginning of the show. I think we're done now.